hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about the desert adaptation in the animals those animals which are found in the deserts so basically those organism living organism which are found in the desert they having a very different morphology their body is different they make an different adaptation in their body <clears throat> because we know that desert this is one kind of habitat we can say where the animals they are going to live so the surrounding conditions are very different in short we can say that the surrounding conditions are very very adverse conditions are there so in that <clears throat> adverse condition animal they make adaptation to that adverse condition so which kind of adverse conditions are there first of all try to understand if it is a desert then the temperature is very high temperature is near about sometime it is near about 50 degrees celsius also then it is very hard to adjust in that temperature also so environmental conditions are different temperature is different second thing the scarcity of the water there is a very less precipitation takes place in the desert that is a rainfall is very less so obviously the water is very important for the living organism so rainfall is very less so that is again the very important challenge to face the low amount of water is again the one of the most important factor we can say and animal or plant they need to adapt to that low water conditions also and when we look at the desert then the ground is covered or land is covered by the sand this is again an important point so everywhere sand is there so again this is an important challenge for the desert adaptation desert animals so in this video we are going to learn about the desert adaptation for the animals this particular video is for the sybsc zoology students those students who are affiliated for the savitri bai phule pune university pune so before going to the actual video please subscribe rmk resolutions and hit the bell icon for more update so first of all i will share the screen and then we will start the video yes so now we are going to discuss about the desert adaptation for the reptiles reptiles is a very important there are so many important animals they are included into the reptilia so uh, in this video we are we are trying to understand some important factors and Uh, morphological adaptation which kind of morphological adaptation takes place in the desert reptiles so on your screen you can see first of all uh, there is a scarcity of the water first point there is a scarcity of the water that is very less water is available and that's why in the inside the body Uh, that minimum water utilization is the most important thing for the reptiles then second thing the least trees are there that is the number of trees which are present in the desert it is very less so obviously trees are trees are the very important for the nutritional purposes so again the nutrition is an important uh, challenge for the animal then third challenge for the reptiles in the desert is the land covered with the sand so everywhere sand is there and obviously the temperature is very high so sand is very hot so in that conditions also it is very difficult to survive during that condition so we will we will try to understand what kind of modification in their body not only in the body but their behavior is also different so that we are going to discuss here 
the next challenge for the reptile in the desert is the least rainfall or precipitation we can say the least rainfall is there and high temperature is there so these are the two very important challenges for the reptiles in the desert and adverse condition also obviously all these are the adverse condition if any other animals are introduced in the desert suppose some uh, animals from the terrestrial from the tropical environment they are introduced into the desert then it is very difficult to survive in that condition but those animals which are alive living continuously since many years ago so these animals having the adaptation in their body so we are going to discuss about these uh, adaptation and behavior of the reptiles so first on your screen you can see the impervious skin so this impervious skins that is one of the most important thing uh, or one of the most important adaptation in the reptiles is about their skin their skin is very thick you can see in this particular diagram the skin is different and there are number of spines are present in the skin so first of all the maintenance of the water inside the animal body is required so obviously there is a scarcity of the water there is a less amount of water is found in the desert so proper utilization of the water is very important so their skin plays an important role to maintain the uh, maintain the water inside the body and there is a less evaporation of the less evaporation of the water from the body so skin plays an important role so maintenance of the water inside the body this is a very important adaptation and skin is very thick so skin prevent the water loss and that particular skin it is covered by the scales it is covered by the scutes it is covered by the shield and spine so minimum water loss this is an important adaptation in the reptile in the deserts you can see the example moloch this is a desert lizard so we can find here the spines are present so spines why spines are present so that spines are important for the uh, what we can say the defense purposes defense from the some other animal that spines are used and sometimes most of the time the animals which are found in the desert or reptiles which are found in the desert they are having a poison poison present on their in their body so they help or they uh, skip from the prey they skip from their prey so mostly the poisonous animals are there desert animal mostly they have you know poison in their body surface so this is the first adaptation impervious skin in the reptiles second is about their habitat no they exhibit the nocturnal habitat so nocturnal habitat means what they come out to search their food during the night only so during the night uh, one of the most important thing is that the temperature is getting low so it so it avoid the evaporation of the water body and because the day temperature is high as compared to the night so nocturnal like most of the animal most of the reptiles which are present in the desert they having a nocturnal habitat so this is an important habitat for the reptiles and uh, it also important for the defense purposes because mostly other animals they are not nocturnal habitat so reptiles they avoid they avoid the prey so this is the important thing second uh, adaptation for the reptile is the nocturnal habitat then third adaptation we can see you can see on your screen is the burrowing habitat so this particular burrowing habitat is an important characteristic feature of the reptiles which are present in the desert so during the day the temperature in a burrow is much less than the normal earth temperature 
so they burrow inside the sand or inside the land you can see on your screen here uh, this particular uh, euromastix this is the desert lizard which having a burrowing habit so they make a hole inside the sand so inside obviously the temperature is low as compared to the land so they exhibit the burrowing habitat and they uh, run away from the high temperature so this is again a burrowing habitat is the important adaptation in the reptiles in case of the desert reptiles then next adaptation for the reptile is the metabolic rate you can see on your screen they reduce their metabolic rate metabolic rate means what the reactions which are going on inside the body so these particular animals which are found in the desert they reduce their metabolic rate so if metabolic rate is reduced then their requirement is getting less metabolic rate is reduced then the requirement food requirement is getting reduced so they survive in that condition by reducing the metabolic rate so slow metabolic rate in order to reduce the use of water also remember my dear friends for the metabolism water is needed so if they reduce their metabolic rate then water requirement is also low so this is a very important adaptation those euromastics or some other animals which are found in a desert they have a a low metabolic rate the next important adaptation you can see on the screen is the excretion so they excrete the uric acid remember for the excretion of the uric acid less amount of water is needed so remember everything is regarding the water everything is regarded to the water so for the excretion of the uric acid less amount of less amount of water is needed so this is an important adaptation so uric acid is uh, uric acid is eliminated in the form of the pellet as the water from the feces is again absorbed by the animal so this is a very important thing the feces or that waste product so from that waste product they again absorb that water so water utilization is a very important factor for the animal you can see this is the feces so you can see on your screen this particular picture this is the feces of the horn lizard so that feces are very dry they absorb all the water from the feces then water cell this is an important thing uremastic we know that water cell for the camel camel this is a very great example a very good example for the uh, desert adaptation but here we are going to discuss about the reptiles adaptation of the reptiles in the desert so though that particular camel they having a water cell so they store the water similarly some uh, reptiles they also having the water cells present in their body example you can see on your screen this is the euromastix they having a special water cell in their intestine desert they also having a water cell so this particular euromastix they having a special water cell in their intestine so they can store the more quantity of water and it can be used in the time of the scarcity of the water so when they get the water sufficient water they drink the water as much as possible and all that water is stored in the water cell which are present in the intestine and when there is a scarcity of the water then slowly slowly that particular water is utilized so seventh adaptation for the reptile is the hygroscopic skin so their skin can absorb the water from the environment so hygroscopic skin means what these particular animals they having ability to absorb the water from the environmental moisture also 
so this is a very important adaptation example moloch lizard they can absorb the water from the environmental source so this is an example of the hygroscopic skin then protection this is a most important adaptation for the reptiles so protection of the eyes nostrils and ears from the sand and dust storms is done because their eyes are covered by the some skin their nostrils are covered by the some skins so this is for the protection from the sand because their uh, storms are there in the uh, what we can say the winds are winds are blowing in a very high uh, rate so there are different storms are there dust are there so their eyes and nostrils are covered by the some thin membrane like structure so they get protected from the sand and dust storm so you can see on your screen this is a rattlesnake and lizard they are provided with the poison apparatus so those particular animals or snakes it is the reptiles so they are very poisonous they are deadly poisonous snakes which are found in the desert rattlesnake it is highly poisonous so poisonous snakes so other animals know that this is genetically they know that instinct they having other animal having a instinct ability instinct means by birth they know that this is the poisonous animal and we don't want to eat this so such kind of adaptation takes place in the rattlesnake and some lizard they also having a poisonous apparatus so they are protected from their prey and another adapt adaptation you can see in the on your screen this is the cardian rhythm that is a biological clock is set for the 24 hour cycle so most of the animal they are the nocturnal habitat so they come out during the day to search their food material okay so thank you so much for watching i hope all of you understand the desert adaptation in case of the reptile this is a very important point for the exam point of view so these are the very simple point to remember i hope i hope everyone understand this particular video this is a very simple video this is for the syvs zoology those who are affiliated for the savitri bai phule pune university pune so please like the video share the video and subscribe my channel rmk resolutions and hit the bell icon for more update thank you bye bye